No, uh, lecturer. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, we're looking at criteria for selecting tax haven. So, why you use a tax haven is you want to hide money from tax. No, actually hide like, it's supposed to be, a tax haven is supposed to be legal. You kind of do it in a legal way to kind of maximize your tax position. Uh, this has been done by all the huge, huge, large multinationals. They do move around their amount of uh, money to, that's why I showed you Google did it, but not only Google, Starbucks, Google, Apple, all of them. I think Apple also recently got hit recently. Uh, let me check and see, Apple. They also got hit. Um, there, you see. Uh, Apple has taken advantage of the transfer over seventy percent of its domestically obtained profit to tax haven, thus putting the profit in a different tax category for the country. So you see, even Apple kind of does it. You know, they kind of move through some techniques and all that. All right. So, uh, what is Apple tax evasion? That after two year investigation, European Commission uh, Ireland granted illegal tax. They 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 ordered Apple to pay thirteen billion. Uh, 13 B, yeah, not million, million on Kachan Kutu for Apple. Okay, for 2004 to 14. After that, I think uh, Apple fight back. You know, Apple lawyers are stronger than EU lawyers. They won. They don't need to pay. 13 billion, hello. So it is quite a lot of money. So these are all the things that they have done. And this is how Apple kind of arranges their, you know, Apple EU tax debate. And uh, they show you how they arrange the office and all that, structuring the office, got it? So you can see island, and a lot of them use island, a lot of them use island, they move around island, island, island. Then uh, some of these are located, then see no tax resident, uh, then yeah, Singapore. You know, in Asia, Singapore is a tax haven, right? Oh, Singapore. <laughs> Okay, Singapore is a big one. So that's how they are looking at the situation. So criteria for selecting tax haven. No withholding tax distribution or payment of non-resident. No anti-avoidance provision that may negate tax advantage. Absence of corporate tax or income tax. This country is like Bermuda Order is 0.2%, 0.1% tax. That means you only pay very little tax. It's over. The country want your money to be parked there. They can earn from, even though you put a little bit, you put $20 billion there, I earn 1% or so it's better than nothing in my hand. Hey, country like Bermuda got what? Okay. Got a beach. What do you want to do with the beach? People, how many people are going to come and sunbathe there? Okay. No. So you can't earn much from tourism. You need some other way to earn. So why Malaysia talk? Why you want Malaysia to become tax haven? Huh? At least that's all percent around. Malaysia that you. Malaysia we got everything. We got land. We got everything. We got tin. We got rubber. We got farm. Oh. We got oil. Why you think we want to be in tax haven? Tax haven is supposed to be for country with little nothing, resources. Oh, nothing. 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 So countries with little resources, like you know the top ten. Macam I said. Top ten no. Macam Singapore, Singapore, Singapore. Singapore ada apa? Yes. Nothing. Okay, oh, but, uh, uh, but why can't we like why can't we return it? <laughs> that these are the top ten tax havens. Uh, tax haven country, these are the big ones. Uh, <laughs> British Virgin <laughs> Island, Cayman, uh, Bermuda, Netherlands, Switzerland, Luxembourg, Hong oh, Kong, yes. Singapore. All this country got nothing. So, kira-kira dia tak ada apa-apa rasa? Eh, UAE ada? UAE ni apa? UAE is a well-known tax haven. Oh. I also thought of setting up something in UAE okay. one time. How come they can be in <laughs> tax haven, sir? The, what does UAE have sent? Kau ada minyak kan? Royalty. Kau ada kaya besar. Dia ada minyak ke? Dia bayar. It's Saudi Arabia kau minyak. UAE ada minyak. Pasir. Pasir. Oh, we can sell you sand. <laughs> we can sell heat. <laughs> they, you see, Saudi Arabia got uh, you know the the Mecca um, that earns a lot of money from they, they they are no problem. But even they are becoming tax savvy right now. They are also already relaxing a lot of the rules. Really. 
there are countries that earn money from religion eh? Mecca, then you got uh, Vatican and then India got one 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 uh, one place there the crazy money they will earn people just go there and donate and put 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 does that make sense? Uh, I think much lah Switzerland is very known lah well known, well known. they are like number one Okay, so there are all those listings. So this is what we mean by uh, you should go or not there. So understand the idea of tax havens. Eh? So this is where they say they found that file which showed all the people had money. Uh, that, that's the one. Okay, double tax treaty reduced source. No tax consider non tax consideration must be freedom from exchange control. You can move money easily. Uh, adequate, efficient, inexpensive communication facility. Uh, minimum disclosure. Political, economical stability, and financial and professional support. So basically, if you want to become top, you go to these countries as an accountant. There's a high demand for accountant in these countries, very high. So if you go to these countries and come back, you can become a tax haven specialist. Tax haven specialist? Ah, but in Hong Kong, Madam Chong already told us about. Yeah, Hong Kong is not a good place to go. It's too costly of living. Ha, yeah. too costly. Not practical, not practical. Not practical. Huh? But I think you can go lah. Maybe uh, United Arab Emirates, UAE. Okay, you can go. You can. Go. <laughs> <laughs> you can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You Cayman, Bermuda, easy to get job. Cayman too, kan? UAE also high job prospect, but cost of living very high. So Cayman where is Cayman in US? I don't teach. Okay, so saya tak pernah dengar asal Cayman tu, saya tak pergi. Very popular. Okay, right. For tax purposes, very popular. So you can keep your options open. Trust me, if you go to these countries and come back. Your uh, specialist, people will pay you the right money to help them. Mm. Makes sense, ah? Huh? Okay, now areas where tax havens have been used: group company financing. But you must know, in Malaysia, there's a 15% withholding tax for financing. Management company, you must know, there's a 10% withholding tax. Uh, trading company, purchasing company, or captive insurance company, there is no withholding tax, but there are transfer pricing rules. Got it? So that's the aspect of tax havens. Just be aware of that. Okay, now back to this part. So we're done with this idea of treaty shopping. So you understand what's the purpose of treaty shopping? You look around for the best tax treaties to get the best benefit. Do I need to give you a break? Ah, break. Okay, five minute break. Five minute, fifteen. Ten. Okay, sir. Ten. No. Thank you.